Boo! I just took a bath. I had some breakfast. And this is the one time I wish I had an umbrella. My only umbrella that I have is in my car. I need to get to my car. I have my phone. I'm gonna have to make a run for it. Ah. I have an umbrella on my wish list. It's very beautiful. Excuse me. Mm. <laughs> it's cold. My car is like right there. Right there. I guess I have to make a run for it. I don't have a choice. So I want to go. Dennis made a uh, fresh baked croissants. I totally caved. I had one. And I even put butter all over it. <laughs> oh my god. So good. So good, but obviously so bad for you. Hey. Directions to 88 Riberia Street. Hell no. 88 Riberia. Directions. Go. Excuse me. Woo! Bam. Part of me wants to say I'm still hungry, and I also keep wanting, uh, mm, milk. I want whole milk. Uh, and yesterday, oh my god, I kind of like her, you like her halfway. Um, yeah, yesterday, so, I ended up actually skipping out on barley because like yesterday was a rough day for me. So I decided to say no readings after I got there. And then I went to the grocery store again and I purchased some frozen shrimp, pre ready to serve with cocktail sauce and everything. And then I caved and bought some bread rolls I bought some organic potatoes and I attempted to make mashed potatoes and I tried to do it with these red potatoes and straight up they were awful. Awful! I tried adding butter and salt. Yuck. Yucky. Not yummy. I think I know where I'm going so I kind of want to turn her off. I'm going to just temporarily disconnect from her. It's raining pretty bad. I have to put my windshield wipers on kind of high. <sighs> put my lights on, even though I never really understood the concept, other than I guess it helps people see me. It's raining. Ugh. I feel like I could eat another croissant. Wow. Probably has like no nutritional value though. It feels like kind of yuck. 
from eating that butter too. And then like I was doing so well, I, I just had my kale drink, you know, my drink with kale and ginger and apples. And then I add my borax mixture. So I'm having a hard time remembering if I even had any yesterday. I know I had a little bit with uh, orange juice. And I feel like I kind of fasted the rest of the day because I can't remember eating anything else after my morning indulgence of orange juice and borax. And I had uh, a brain force, the Alex Jones promoted medicine. I got the hookup from my friend Mike, which I totally want to take you to go see sometime. Hey, I'm not liking what I'm seeing right now. What's going on there? There we go. So, uh, yeah, that's been the life lately. A lot of stress, anxiety. Attempting to deal with that. Like I've been attempting to eat better though living with roommates that both eat like garbage by the way not easy not easy and like I've been pretty good at saying no but when the croissants were out today and like you feel their texture I had one little bite and then I just couldn't stop eating the rest of the roll basically that's kind of like my weakness I love bread I feel like I've, I've told you this story a couple times. <laughs> so, I mean, let's tell a little bit of a story because I also really enjoy stories, right? That's my passion, telling stories. I'm a storyteller. So, this guy that I'm going to right now, he runs this place called Swimming Dragon. And apparently he does acupuncture there. Which is crazy because I'm pretty sure it's in the same office where I usually get acupuncture from this woman named Dory. And part of me, yeah, I totally want to get acupuncture. Though the reason why I'm going to him is because I want to study Tai Chi. However, his website said that he is no longer doing classes, that he's interviewing students. So intuition told me to call him up and be like, hey, I want to come check you out. And he made a joke. He's like, you want to come check me out, huh? <laughs> so that happened. Oh. It says stop if you can. I made it. I couldn't stop. <laughs> so, I do want to do the test in 4K still. Though, I have so much footage on here already on this camera that I have yet to wipe. And like, I'm also supposed to, I have a, like a two hour segment video I have to go through on my cell phone. I have multitudes of stuff on the computer I need to do. And this is clearly whether that like I probably shouldn't be in, though I'm not letting that stop me. Woo! Scary. I'm not letting that stop me. I still want to get out and go do things. Though my room totally has to be addressed today. I need to address a lot of things. I need to deal with my closet. I need to figure out that treasure chest situation, what I'm doing with that thing. I paid $150 for it. So I thought about listing it and maybe I could like just get my money back. It's totally worth more than 150 I feel like, too. Because, like, it's it's still in good condition. Like, the lid doesn't fall off. I mean, it's not, like, it's not really super duper tattered up. But the reason why I bought it was for the mermaid situation. And, like, now it's just kind of serving as a desk, which I do enjoy as a desk. Jesus! The problem is, 
that the chest like is constantly filled with just random stuff in my room that has no place to go. So I need to figure out where that stuff is going to go at this point. It's a bunch of like the tiny little things and I just get so overwhelmed because I'm like, where is this going to go? It just doesn't make sense for it to go anywhere. And like, I struggle to let go of things too. I'm struggling. So I definitely need to figure that out. Uh, my accountant almost seems to be rejecting me right now too. Like my accountant, I basically, I told him the truth. And I feel like I weirded him out by doing so. So I don't know if he really wants to do business with us. Been done anymore. So, waiting to hear back. Eh, I just might have to file an extension, which is kind of shitty. Well, video's getting long. I gotta quit. I love you.